<clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. It is Friday. Friday, April 8th, 2022. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. And I thought I'd go paddling first thing this morning and bring, bring you all with me. So we are on Willow Creek this morning and it is very calm and very foggy. <laughs> Good morning, Karen. Good morning. Yes. So welcome to all of you who are joining me. On It's a little cool this morning, I must admit. Uh, it's a little cool. Yes. Good morning, Brenda. But it's going to be a beautiful day. So make sure you go outside. Yes. So <laughs> my eyes are watering. Good morning, Lynn. Right? It's a beautiful day for a paddle. It's a beautiful day for a walk or a run. Good morning, Leanne. <clears throat> and yes, good morning. I know. It is. This is our first paddle together of the season because temperature and light has come together this morning and timing. So yes, as you are, are all coming in, I'm going to have to look for a place to park potentially good morning paul good morning good morning sue good morning donna yes good morning it is good to be with you it is good to be out and moving it's so good so good and so this morning um i wanted to share with you i uh i like it when you tell me what books you're reading because sometimes i'll I'll read them too. And uh, Lynn Dick uh, was telling me that she had read this book. Look how calm that water is. So nice. Uh, Lynn Dick had told me that she had read this book called God in the ICU. And she said, I think you might like it. And so I was like, okay. So this past Monday, uh, audiobooks, if you don't have... Uh, Hoopla, you might want to get it if you're, uh, maybe you're not a book reader, but you're a book listener. Um, so I downloaded it from Hoopla, which is a library app. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Diane. And I listened to it and it's about an anesthesiologist or anesthetist. I don't know if they're both the same thing. Um, and, uh, and so I listened to it and it's about this anesthesiologist who has found God and is a devout believer. Um, and I believe, and Lynn, you might have to correct me. Uh, at one point, his wife gets cancer and he is very, at, rightly so, very concerned and uh, some people from his church come and they just get talking about different things. And they say to him, you're quite smart. And he's like, yes. And they're like, have you ever asked God to be with you when you're performing these operations, when you're gi giving the anest anesthetic? <laughs> you know. You know what I'm talking about. I'm like, it's barely kissing seven. I'm losing some words. And he's like, well, why would I do that? Like, I'm quite competent at my job. And they said, you should probably invite God into what you're doing. And, uh, and he did the same thing that I, I always encourage you to do. You take, you take what person has said to you and you ask the Lord about it. And so, uh, he did, he went and he talked to the Lord about it and he realized he had pride in his spirit that was preventing him. Cause he was like, I know how, to, I know how to do my job. He was, he was like the top guy in his field. And he's like, why should I need to invite God to help me do what I'm so good at doing? And so as he took this to the Lord, he felt totally convicted about pride. And so he surrendered that to the Lord and he started inviting God 
into every operation that he was a part of. He started praying for his patients and he started to see miraculous things happen because he was inviting God into the situation. And I was like, Oh Lord, I am so sorry for my pride and my self-centeredness when it comes to doing the things that you have gifted me at. And I realized that I was like, Lord, I need to start or remember, because I have done it in the past, and I think we just get so caught up in life. But Lord, I need to invite you into everything that I'm doing. And normally, I just invite him into the things that I'm not so great at, like cooking. I'm like, Lord, could you please make this taste good? Could you please put these ingredients together so it tastes good? And for the most part, he's a pretty good cook. And I was like, Lord... I need to do this all the time. I need to come before you in all the things that I'm about and invite you to be a part of it. And what it reminded me of was when I was working in Verona and my dad was living across the road and I said, I would, uh, I'd have to go into Kingston and I would say, I'd call him up and I'd be like, dad, do you want to come with me? And he'd be like, sure. And he'd put his coat on. He'd come out and get in the car. I didn't need my dad to help me. Right? I didn't need him to tell me how to get to Kingston. I didn't need him to tell me what to shop for or how to spend my money. Um, I just wanted to be with him. I just wanted him for the company and the conversation and just being, being with my dad. And it was like, that's what God is inviting us into. He is inviting us into relationship with him. Like just being with our heavenly father. And I was like, oh, how much do I miss out on? How much do I miss out on? Because I don't invite you in. And the book of Psalms 139 says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence, right? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn and settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand is with me. Your right hand will hold me fast, right? Like, it's not like we can get away from his presence. It says that he is always with us, right? And I say this all the time, Joshua 1, 9, right? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Or um, Isaiah 41, 10, do not, uh, do not fear for I'm with you. Do not be afraid for I'm your God. Like he's with us. And even uh, Matthew 28, 19 and 20, and lo, I'm with you even to the end of the age. Like it says, the scriptures say that he is always, always, always with us. But he, he wants us to invite him to be with us, right? Um, he wants us to say, Jesus, let's go. <laughs> you know, we put our feet, before we even put our feet on the floor, Lord, let's do this together today. And I was like, oh, Lord, would you remind me every day to invite you to be a part of my day, right? Not just in my life, but a part of my life, a part of my day, a part of my words, a part of my thoughts, a part of my actions. I want to feel the presence and fullness of his spirit, but that means we need to invite him. And uh, as as this doctor um, started doing that, he saw, he just sensed the presence of the Lord even more. And he felt led by the Spirit to pray for people and miracles happened. And I'm like, Lord, am I missing out on miracles because I'm not inviting you into the day? Because I'm not sensing the leading of your Spirit? Because I actually haven't invited the leading of your Spirit. So I've been, I've been thinking through this all week long. And just that image of, like, am, am I willing to call up the Lord and say, do you want to come and be a part of my day today? I know you're here. I know you're in my heart, but I want to interact with you today. Can we do this together? And so 
I want to, we're going to pray that. And I want to encourage you today to pray uh, that God, will you be a part of my day today? Will you go with me? And even in the things that you've gifted me to do, right? Whatever that might be, would you be with me? Because I know a lot of you and you're good at so many things, but do we invite God into those things, right? Do we invite God into the things that we're very capable of doing just so he can make them that much better? All right. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray. Uh, FYI, the water really isn't that deep. It's only right here, maybe, maybe, maybe two feet, just in case you're wondering. Um, So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today. We need you. We need you. And we ask that you would guide and direct us. We invite you to be a part of our day in every aspect, the stuff that... We're not so great at. And Lord, actually, would you be a part of the stuff that we are great at? And would you protect us from pride and thinking, thinking we know how to do it? Lord, we need you. We, oh, oh, what peace we often forfeit because we don't come to you in prayer and invite you. Oh, the sweetness of, of connection that we miss out on because we don't invite you. You said, ask. You said, come. And so father, we're asking and we're coming. Would you, would you meet with us today? Would you be with us today? Would you guide and direct us today by the power of your Holy Spirit? May we be sensitive to your spirit and may we long for your presence. Revive us today. Would you oh, arise, my soul, arise. Awake, awake, awake. Come awake, Lord. Help us to come awake. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. And so, yes, living daily into your presence, right? Uh, that's what we need to be praying for this morning. And so, my dear friends that's it. That's all. I encourage you to like, share, go outside and help your community experience Christ. Bye.